Happy holidays to everyone. Welcome to the Markverse. Currently, I am in the black at SM North Edsa. Today, I'm celebrating a very special day, but before anything else, I'm just going to visit one toy shop here, hoping to have a great time. This is Toy Kingdom, one of the premier toy store here in the Philippines. So let's check what's inside. These are Star Wars squadrons. Then the Dark Trooper from the Mandalorian series. There are only a couple of Star Wars figures displayed here. Then some DC figures. I do not collect this kind of DC figures, I only collect 5 to 7 in scale. The Black Adam figures. These are DC bundle toys and I think they already have this on their shelves even before the pandemic. Then the Justice Society is playing in the movie. Um, I heard from the news that James Gunn does not have any future plans for Black Adam so this might be the first and only batch of his toys. We have Master Verse figures here. This is Paper. We also have Demon with Orko. I almost bought this in one toy sale almost a month ago. We have another toy bundle. But I don't know why they will combine two Tilas here. It will be more enticing if they change the other Tila to another character. There's a Castle Greystone with a Philip Prince Adam in Spicewood. We also have some characters here from the Lightyear animated film. McFarlane figures already have all of this except for Gorilla Grodd, Page Puncher. Let's check the back. We have Wally West from the Speed Metal set. Then Jay Garrick, Kid Flash. Then a spawn figure, I think this is Dark Redeemer. Okay. Then other DC Multiverse figures. We have Bat Batrocitus, the Joker Dragon. It's really hard to check what's on the back. So that's Superman from the animated series wearing the black suit. Then from the Batman movie. Batman who left with the three Robins, then Cyclone, Scarecrow. We have Lex Luthor and Jaskier from The Witcher. Then the Clown of Spawn, Geralt of Rivia from The Witcher, Overhaul from MHA, then the Penguin and Kid Flash. We have a bunch of Power Rangers figures here. I don't collect Power Rangers figures, but maybe in the future I will. We have the Avatar figures. I purchased Jack Sally and Maytiri a month ago, but I have yet to watch the movie. But I will after a new year. We have some McFarlane DC Multiverse figures at the back. We have some DC and My Hero Academy figures here. Atom Smasher from the Black Adam movie. Then we have some 5 inch figures of MHA. There is the figure of Wonder Woman. The Page Puncher, the smallest figure of Black Adam. 
Just check the back. I think that's Batman with the human front. More 1966 Batman. I'm really thinking to purchase this, but not today. The Robin of uh, the Batman Adventures. number of transformers there are these wars the upcoming transformer film is called rise of the beast which i guess we can see those beast wars characters in the film then marvel figures we have the Sentinel. We have the War Machine, the new War Machine figure. I like the old one better. Then Scorpion. Already have that at home. Then the Bagman. I saw him in the newest Spider-Verse trailer, but if I can be called picky, he's wearing a Spider-Man and not a Fantastic, fantastic Four costume. Then the 20th anniversary figure of Marvel again. We have Mojo and the other 1990s X-Men VHS type Marvel. We have the AIM, then Mr. Negative. Still waiting for a better price for the Mr. Negative 2 pack. There's Iron Heart. Still waiting for Byron Simo to have a better price. We have new figures, Sentry and Moonstone. Both galactic figures. I'm still hoping I can find a small Anthem figure. That will be nice. Eternal figures. They have a big discount. Hello. Okay, so this is the leader. This is one of the villains whom I knew since I was a kid because of hope. I'm very interested, but I'll get back to you. This is only 400 pesos. I guess that's around 70% off the regular price. I will purchase the leader. It has a very good price. And I also got a gift for my nephew, Sean. He told me he wanted to beat his parents, so I got him this. Um, I guess that didn't sound right. I'm happy I went here. The leader is the number one arch enemy of the host. And the most important thing is I got a good friend. So this is really a good friend. The staff of Toy Kingdom are very friendly, especially Mary and Floor. That's a shout out. There are a variety of figures and they are based on market price. There are also a bunch having very big discounts. Then the information I gave earlier, first one, based on Forbes, James Gunn tells The Rock, no more Black Adam for now. Though non-DCU projects still exist. This means there is still a chance we can see another Black Adam film or at least see the Justice Society again with Black Adam. Second, here is the movie poster of the upcoming Transformer film 
Rise of the Beast, which will be shown June 2023. So, this is a leader, and I'm going to unbox him now. This is a figure, and since he's considered as the number one arch enemy of the Hulk, then I'm going to put him beside the other enemies of the Avengers. Again, I am the Markman. Thank you for visiting the Markverse, and always remember to pay forward with kindness.